It's your cute guy that's fucking up. <laughs> well, thanks for that. I appreciate the cute guy comment. Now, I would like to let you know that I've been thinking a lot today, okay? I've been thinking a lot. And it occurs to me that nothing else matters. Nothing in the world matters except for love, okay? When you love someone, your whole life changes, okay? Your whole life becomes about them, okay? And not just about pleasing them, okay? It's not their, that you're going to become love slave or their slave. It's about caring about them and perpetuating that, that dream and perpetuating the goal of loving them and being a part of their life and influencing them to be happier than they've ever been before and being capable of doing that having the intelligence to do that is more important to me than just about anything in the world okay I'm, I'm poor okay and what makes me smart is that I'm able to survive on $720 a month okay now well 740 720 somewhere in there okay I'm intelligent enough to be able to find the programs seek out the programs and make my income work for me you know and I have to say that 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 takes a lot of research a lot of development and you know know-how okay and the intelligence of resourcefulness okay so to survive on what I have and with the amount of stuff I still have haha <laughs> I should live in a storage bin. I mean, I should just turn this into a storage, turn my place into a storage bin, and then move out. <laughs> I mean, I'm set to inherit a bunch of stuff, you know? Um, my grandfather died uh, a long time ago, and my father has yet to give me my inheritance. And it's a bunch of his stuff. I'm slowly getting it and whatnot from him, you know, that sort of thing. So, I guess it's some tools and some other stuff, I don't know. I had some inheritance from my grandmother and some of his stuff was there and I really didn't want that because it was just whatever, you know, it was just crap. <laughs> so I dumped it, I got rid of it, threw it away, it was worthless. So I mean, the memories of what I have here that are more important, okay? All the things that I remember about that life, that part of my life, was more important. So. Like I say, it's the thought that counts behind the gifts. And I have that I have that watch for you and so I didn't buy anything this month and I know I'm broke, I can't help it, but my suggestion to you is that you hire me, you hire me, okay? So that you and I, you and I, you and I can be around each other. Okay? You need to get to know who I am, and you gotta, you gotta love this idea. To be able to look at somebody who's cute, and adorable, and cuddly, and has a style of all of his own, and you get to see me, and you know, after that point, maybe then you can, you know, we could, you could take me out to, to lunch or something, we could sit and talk for a while, we could just look in each other's eyes and not say a word if you want. I don't care. <laughs> it's just that I, I want to be around you. I can't not be around you, okay? Your energies fill me with joy, okay? Just being with you and being around you, my mind can, can wrap itself around that. How about you? You know? I mean, you got to step across the line, man. You got you to gotta go across that line and say, okay, I'm taking the risk. I want to make first contact. I want to be, you know, with this guy. I want to explore the idea, okay? And you know what? I love your dad. I love your mom, okay? And I would do the same things I would do for you for them. Your brothers, your sisters, any of them, okay? I look at them and I feel about them, okay? As they are my, my own family, my extended family, 
okay? All right? I'm not the kind of guy who's going to disappoint, okay? I'm not a Kevin Federline. <laughs> I knew you'd like that one. But let's put it this way, all right? Um, I love you, and I love your family. And I'm sure your family already likes likes me, as it is, some of them. And, you know, I'd like to hang out with some of you guys. And, and for you guys to be able to see who I am in action. Yes, I've got a spinal problem. But I'm willing to take a beating a bit more, okay? And, and, and put myself in a position where I can work. One, it'll give me a little extra income, right? Two, it will put you and I together closer. And you can, we can work a little bit more directly, okay? And you get to see me and watch me from afar or whatever you want to do. You want to play, that, play it like that or you want to play it more directly. It doesn't matter. It'll put us in a position where we can be together, you know, and you can, you can, you know, address me and talk to me and, you know, that sort of thing. Now, I know how important it is for you to have a little distance in case something goes wrong. I understand and respect that. And, and, and I've totally, totally agree with that. Okay. But we need to go to the next level. We can't leave our contact here being stagnant. So I want you to at least think about that. Okay. Now I've given you the idea that in Manitou Springs, you could go, I want to take you there personally. I want you and I, and maybe some entourage. Okay. Security and all. I want you and I, I want you and I to go along together. I want to sit next to you. We can hang out. If it feels a bit awkward at first, we'll get through it. Okay? Just feel awkward and then get through it. Okay? You're going to feel the way you feel. I, I can't help that. I'm going to feel the way I feel. So anyway, we're going to go down to Manitou Springs, Colorado. Okay? I want to go in and have you purchase one of their buildings. Okay? I want you to get that going. We're going to call it the Happy Hippie. We're going to call it the Happy Hippie. Okay? That is the biggest hippie town of all. Okay? If you want to sell your wares. I know you're not a hippie. I'm not a hippie. Okay? But we need to start doing business in a more physical sense. Okay? That's my idea with you. You want to make money? Let's do it that way. All right, let's buy a building, okay? Uh, we'll, we, that'll, uh, that'll give you the chance to hire somebody and give them a job, an actual job, okay? Hell, that could be me as manager of the store, okay? I don't want to deal with money. I am good at it. I just do not like dealing with it. I hate it. I really do. I really do hate dealing with money. I hate handling it. I hate, I hate everything about it. It's greedy. It, it, it's just a trade note, okay? It means nothing, okay? To me, it means very little, okay? If I had Michael Jackson's, or 10 times Michael Jackson's money, I would still hire somebody to take care of that. I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> you see what I mean? So, when you buy this building, I have a couple of suggestions, okay? You'll like them. Um, there's a building over there, um, and it's not a small one, okay? It's, you got to get a big shop. And this shop has an apartment above it, okay? I'm going to dump a bunch of my stuff in my apartment. I'm going through it right now and doing that right now. I, I, I'm trying to get it down to just what I need only, all right? Just my necess bare necessities. So I can move all of that upstairs into... the upstairs into the into the little uh, apartment above it right and that would make sh make sure that I'm security on the property as well see you wouldn't have to hire that you just pay me or you know come down and see me now if you want to send one of your financial representatives to do this I want to work with them personally okay I will be the liaison between the current owner of the building and them I'll be the deal broker okay that's going to be my job, okay? We're going to work that, we're going to broker that deal. Now, I think that, that this is something that you could you can do. Sure, there's a, a risk in this. Sure, it could fail, but I'm not saying it isn't. But 
the likelihood of it failing in the first two years, even with this economy, is highly unlikely because tourists go to that town and they buy, buy, buy. Okay, and the mayor of that place makes sure that there are events where people come to that town and, you know, buy, okay? So the likelihood of you failing is less than, less than 20%, 20 to 30%, okay? 30 is even pretty high. So it's not, it's not, not really that bad. Now check this out. You get the building, you get me to move in, okay? And you can contact me directly to ask me about the management. You know, you if you say, hey, um, how, how, what are we profiting? I'll go check the books. And I'll talk to so-and-so who's the financial manager and say, yep, th this person says this books. And I'm going to review it and take pictures. And you can do, you know, I'll take pictures of the books and you can see what's going on. And if there's any anomalies... I'm going to let you deal with that. I'm going to let you deal with that. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that part. All right. I, I, I take a very hands-off approach. Very, um, like you and you and I are in contact now. I, I take the same kind of approach with finances. I hate it. All right. I, I do pretty well for myself. Okay. And that's as far as I go. But I want you to, I want you to think about that. All right. I, Miley, I love you. And I wouldn't say this unless I did love you. Now, you think I'm pretty cute, and I think you're adorable, okay? And we're a perfect couple. So, that's one, my this suggestion is one way that I can help you prosper at a whole new level. Because you don't have any actual stores. And you could become the queen of a giant empire. And not just sell your wares online, okay? I can handle the business license. I'll just bring somebody with the debit card. Say, all right, I need a license. And they'll say, all right. And then I'll step aside and go, you, they're paying for it. And then I'll step aside. They do their financial transaction. And then I go in and handle the rest of the paperwork. Ha! You see? That is called management. So I can manage that. You see? So I don't want anything to do with the money. Because I don't want it to even touch my hands. All right? Except if it's mine. <laughs> you see, if I earned it, then I get it. That's it. You see, I want to earn everything I have. I won't. I don't expect gifts. I don't want nothing. Okay, I want to earn my my cash, and that's how I am. And when I owe you, I gotta pay up, and I owe you. So I I got you a seven dollar watch. Okay, I gotta get it to you. Now, can you send somebody down here? To pick it up and, and and get it to you. Can you do that? Tyrese Gib Gibson sent people, his people down here, and p to pose as potential buyers to check me out. You can talk to him and ask him that. It's true. So, if he can do that, you can do you can do that. I know it's for a seven dollar watch, but come on, it's the thought that counts, okay? And I want to give those people a hug, so that. They will literally transfer the hug to you from me. Can you do that? If you want to play it like that, then let's do that. But you gotta, you you gotta establish some content. You know, you gotta, you gotta do this. All right. I love you, Miley. I love you very much. Okay. I love you. There isn't anything in the whole world that I wouldn't would rather do than have you in my arms, cradling you right now. All right, if you're in the hotel room, I would want to cradle you. And when you, you know, as we go to sleep, I would climb in, I would spoon you, I would do whatever it takes to love you. Okay? I will do everything I can to support you and perpetuate your success, which would also perpetuate mine. So, it's an equal and fair deal. Okay? So, you just consider that. And not too many men can think the way I do, and help you to prosper like I can. You understand? So give me a chance to perpetuate your success and give you new avenues that you never even were thought were possible without me. And I want to be part of that um, life of yours. Okay? And I don't care about the fame. I don't care about the fortune. Alright? I just want to make 
a little extra bucks and you can hire me and allow me to do what I need to do to take care of helping you. So stagehand or this other suggestion or both. Hell, both. All right, so please think about it, will you? I love you. I can't wait for you to say the same thing. Can you say it? Can you say it? Can you say I love you? Can you say that? Can you say I love you? Can you do that? I, I'm going to ask the Illuminati to, to betroth us. All right, that's what's going to happen. So, I love you. I do. I love you. Later.